Hi everyone, welcome to Mari Clark Creations. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I really appreciate it. I have a sweet little card process for you today using some beautiful products from Altenew. I'm going to be making this card that you can see here using the Stunning Sakura collection. This is the collection here that you can see on my table. I'm going to be using this beautiful stamp set that comes with this stunning Sakura image and then a bunch of really fantastic sentiments as well. I really appreciated that there were a lot of sentiments included and I also really like that Altenew includes this fantastic packaging that shows you some examples of card projects that you could make with the stamp set. It also gives you some ideas for color combinations using the Altenew inks and it gives you some products for perfect pairing. For example, some embossing folders, some die sets, and then you also have some instructions for using the stamp set, care and storage, and there's also a scan code that you can use on the packaging to show you more about the product on the website. So I really appreciate all of these details uh, that they include in their packaging about the product. There's also a coordinating die set or die that cuts out the entire blossom or all of the blossoms, this branch of these gorgeous Sakura flowers. And I am also going to be using the coordinating stencil set. This is a set of four stencils that allows you to ink blend to color in the images, which is so great because I am not the best colorist. I like to color. I like to watercolor. I like to use my alcohol markers and my color pencils, but I will say that having a coordinating stencil to allow you to ink blend really is super, super fantastic. Now I'm going to start off here with my Mini Misty. I'm going to stamp out this Sakura image here onto some white cardstock using some black ink. I think I used Gina K Amalgam Ink to stamp this out. Now I am going to use Pink Fresh Inks to ink blend. I'm starting off here with a first stencil and I'm going to be using Coral Reef from Pink Fresh Studio for this first uh, pass with the stencil and the ink and I'm just going for a really really light corally pink color here I'm not using a ton of ink or a ton of pressure I'm using a clockwise and counterclockwise motion with this little brush to achieve just a really soft blend now there are three different stencils for layering color onto these petals and the first two stencils I use coral reef and I create the dimension just by creating a darker amount of ink with that coral reef. So this first pass, I'm just doing really light, a really, really light blend because I'm going to add some darker coral reef with the second stencil. So the idea is that if you use a little bit of a lighter hand when you're starting off here and as you go, you can add some details with a darker hand, the same color, just a little bit of a darker amount of or more ink to darken it up a little bit. So I'm just adding the second stencil on now. I'm just gingerly putting this on, making sure that I get this lined up properly. It was really easy to do, didn't take long. Now I've got that taped into place. And here you can just see I'm going in with Coral Reef again. And this, this time, like I said, I'm using more ink so that I'm getting some darker and lighter. I'm trying to make kind of a, a little bit of a darker center in the flower on the petals, uh, just to add that little bit of dimension and detail, because we all know that when we look at a flower, there's lights and darks on it, and I'm just trying to create that. Now I'm going to go in with Pink Fresh Passion Fruit for the third stencil, and this is going to really nicely darken up these next petals and this is really going to create some more dramatic color on the petals for the flower and I really like the combination of that coral reef and the um, passion fruit I think it's just really nice and I don't have very many of the Altenew inks I definitely would have tried this with Altenew but I don't have I have a few of their ink ink cubes but I don't have very many of their inks so I decided to use my pink fresh inks and these colors worked beautifully for this particular um, inking or ink blending. Now I am going to go in with another color here of pink fresh ink. This is fresh pear and again I'm creating those lights and darks just by adding a little bit of light to start with and then going darker 
closer to the petals of uh, the petal area, sort of like between the leaf and the petal, just darkening that area up a little bit as the, the image trans sort of changes from the petal to the leaf, if that makes sense. And now you'll notice that this stencil is actually sectioned off so that each section has a different area of leaves. So you just have to line up and sort of turn the stencil and you can line up those leaves. And then there's also a section for the branches. I'm going to use Simon Says Stamp Sparrow for the branch area. And this is just a really nice dark brown. It's almost kind of like a gray brown. I really like this tone. And again, I'm just going in and ink blending to create that brown area on those branches. And that is going to finish up the stenciling with these gorgeous stencils from the Stunning Sakura collection from Altenew. So I'm just going to show you up close what this looks like when it's all ink blended up. I love the variation in the lights and darks. I think this is really beautiful. I really like how it turned out. Now I'm going to take the coordinating die. This is just one single die as I showed you at the beginning of the video and die cut that out. I'll set that aside and I'm going to be using the geometric 3D embossing folder from Altenew. I've cut that down so that it's slightly smaller than my A2 size card base. And I'm going to add some foam tape onto the back of that to really flatten that out nicely and give that a little bit of dimension on my card front. I'll take that release paper off the back and I'm going to add a little bit of Honeybee Stamps glue to the back. And that's just going to allow me to wiggle this around into place a little bit more when I go to add this foam tape to my card base. So my card base is just a top folding a2 size card base. It's 100 pound hammer mill cardstock that I've used for my card base here. I'll go ahead and adhere my card front to my card base. I'll give that a nice press just to make sure that it's nicely glued down there to the card base. And now I'm going to take my beautiful blossoms here and add those onto my embossed background with a little bit of foam adhesive. I am going to just go ahead and take the release paper off the foam adhesive and add this element onto my project. I wanted it to kind of look like the blossoms are like, it's just a really heavy branch of blossoms hanging. And so I wanted the blossoms to be hanging downward. So that's what I was going for here. There is a little bit of overhang on my project and I did take a craft knife and just trim that off off camera. So you'll notice that the edges of the blooms are flush with the edge of the card base. Now I have taken one of the sentiments, Hugs and Closed, from the Stunning Sakura stamp set and stamped that out in embossing ink onto black cardstock and heat embossed with white embossing powder. I've trimmed that down now and adding that on with some foam, foam adhesive onto my project. That's going to finish my card today, friends, and I did link up in the description box below to all of the different products that I've used. Thank you so much for watching me today. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.